Sheboygan County standoff ends peacefully. Lake Michigan and other lakes set new record highs. Local cheesemakers score a world championships. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. Highway 67, just south of Plymouth, had to be shut down for about two hours on Monday night because of a standoff situation. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says that just before 9 o'clock p.m., they got a report of a car that had run off the road at the intersection of State Highway 67 and Hillwind Road. And they learned that the driver of the car was being sought for a pending investigation. And for two hours, deputies worked to bring a peaceful end to the standoff. In the end, no one was hurt, and the driver was taken to the hospital for medical treatment. A Plymouth man is facing drunk driving charges after an unusual chase overnight. Sheboygan police say the 56-year-old man was westbound on Erie Avenue at around 3.30 Sunday night when he hit the traffic lights at the 14th Street intersection. The lights came down on top of his black Mercedes, but he continued driving. Police managed to stop him ar around Kohler Memorial Drive and 25th Street when the car when the man got out of the car, he blew a .15, and the legal limit is .08. He is facing his first offense, OWI charges, hit and run, and unsafe lane deviation. The process of finding a new chief of police in Sheboygan is apparently on hold for now. Current Chief Christopher Domigolski has been pursuing a position with the Milwaukee Police Department. The Board of Police and Fire Commissioners discussed interviews done with those who applied as his successor during the Tuesday's meeting and were also given an update on the Chief's letter of res resignation, but took no action on the matter. Chief Domigolski told WHBL News last month that he hadn't submit yet submitted the letter even as actions to name his successor were already underway. With the next meeting scheduled for Mar March 18th and no mention of the matter noted, it is apparent that Chief won't make an immediate departure. Domigolski has told print media he feels that he is not being treated fairly by Milwaukee PD, while Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett's office claims that Milwaukee's salary ordinance does not allow the amount compensation that Domigolski is requesting. Barrett so far has not allowed a final offer to be made to name him the assistant chief, police chief in Milwaukee. A second person in Wisconsin has tested positive for the coronavirus. The Pierce County Public Health Department says the person was exposed while traveling within the U.S. Officials say the patient is isolated at home and county official health officials are working to determine people who have been in contact with the patient to isolate or quarantine people and test those who are exhibiting symptoms. <clears throat> officials say they will hold a media briefing today to answer any further questions and a Western Wisconsin school district says it will be closed today after the state confirmed its second case of coronavirus. The Osala School District says the person who tested positive for the coronavirus in Pierce County had attended a STEM event at the high school over the weekend. While the risk to others may be low, the school says that as a precaution, it has canceled all classes and school activities on Tuesday to stay clean. Wisconsin's first coronavirus case was reported on February 5th in Dane County, and that patient has recovered and was released from isolation on February 28th. Lake Michigan shorelines are getting no breaks from high water levels and erosion as levels remain at or near record highs. 
The Army Corps of Engineers reports monthly record high levels of February were set on Lakes Superior, Michigan, Huron, and Erie. The previous records date back to 1986 for our shores. Dry weather with more than usual evaporation last month was not enough to offset the usual seasonal rise that results from rainfall and runoff and with typical annual peak levels not expected until the late summer or early fall. More records can be expected. Substantial erosion has occurred along much of the Great Lakes coastline thanks to a big wave that resulted from the strong winter storms. Army Corps hydrolysis John Alice reported that those along the coastline can expect more of the same in the coming months, and he is urging those to cost to prepare accordingly. And finally, the Grand Champion Cheese was not from Wisconsin. That honor goes to Geyer of Switzerland, but local cheesemakers did score some impressive awards at the World Championship Cheese Contest that concluded Thursday in, Mil in Madison. A best of class award was given to Henning Cheese in Kiel for the Chipotle Cheddar Bandaged Daisy and the Pepper Flavored Cheese, medium heat class. Colby Cheese from Henning's took second and third in their class. And Baker Cheese Factory in St. Cloud garnered third place for their jalapeno string cheese. Pine River of Newton took best of class for their jalapeno cold pack cheese food and second class for their spicy beer cold pack cheese spread. Sartori of Plymouth won second place in the hard mix milk cheese class for their limited edition pastoral bland. Masters Gallery of Plymouth took second in shredded cheese blends for their hot shredded pepper cheese and third in their shredded Parmesan Grayer and Swiss blend. And finally, Great Lakes Cheese of Plymouth was awarded best of class in the natural sliced cheese category for their New York extra sharp cracker cut cheese and second for their Havarti cracker cuts. Many more area cheesemakers garnered fourth and fifth places as well. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.